On this episode of The Lazy Gardener, we'll walk you through a late season vegetable garden harvest. We'll show you how to keep grass clippings from sticking inside of your tube. So hold on and enjoy The Lazy Gardener. Uh oh, Doc's home alone and bored again. <laughs> the Lazy Gardener. I always wanted like an intro like Bob Vila. Welcome to this old house. Anyways, uh, first I'll go ahead and I'll show you this tip on lawnmower bagging clippings. That's what I'll do first. And then I'll take you over to the garden and show you <laughs> the Lazy Gardener over there. Finally working on his garden. I haven't touched it in like two weeks. That's about it. Just uh, chilling out. Have you ever had grass clog up on your bagger system? Well, today I'm going to show you a little trick how to prevent that a little bit. But before we do, uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the garden. I'm being lazy. The Lazy Gardener episode 29. I'll do a vegetable harvest there. Let me show you the front. We're about ready to do a scalp <laughs> on the front. It's just too thick. Um, it's not that it's too long, it's so thick, and I've got it at about one and a half or two inches. I just hate long Bermuda, I can't stand it. But it's so, so thick that uh, it's just insane, and it's ready to be cut to a golf course cut. And uh, so what I'm doing is I put growth regulator down on it, and I've stopped, and I haven't put another, so I'm starting to get my growth surge. So after your growth regulator wears off, you get a little bit of a growth surge. Holy crap. So now this is the weak area <laughs> before I get out in the sunshine. So this is the weak area of my lawn over here. See how thick that is? It's just insane. And the front looks great, but I'm so tired of long Bermuda. I want it, I want it half inch. But you can see what's happening here. So I gotta come by with the John Deere. I have a ton of clippings, but look how thick this is. Is that crazy or what? Let me get it the shade so you can actually see it here. Look, look how thick that is. <laughs> is that crazy? Look at that, it's insane. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scalp all that off. Scalp all that Bermuda, beautiful Bermuda off. We're gonna take it down almost dirt, but we wanna do some leveling out there. And then we're going to keep it, try and keep it at half an inch, and we're going to just hammer it with growth regulator uh, just to make it tighten up and get short. But this is the last chance you have to do that. So if you're going to do a scalp, you got to do it when it's warm weather and you got to have irrigation. But let me show you how to stop this clogging. So, one of the reasons why these things clog up is because your clippings are usually kind of damp, and the inside of the tube actually gets a little rough and the water actually causes cohesion and the water sticks to the sides along with the grass. Make sense? Just like a car. If you spray a car that hasn't been waxed, the water spreads out and adheres to the actual car. If you wax it, the beads roll right off and that's what we want to do here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look inside and you can feel, it'll feel rough. Uh, so you want to take a towel and you want to scrub it as good as possible. The next thing you want to do is get um, a quick wax. So get a quick spray wax. I use uh, Meguiar's. I'll put a link to it down below. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it into the tubes. And I'm going to take the towel, which will get nasty. I've already done one coat on it. And you can see what comes off of it. And then I'll just go in. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to wax the inside of it. And then let it dry. Now, what this will do <clears throat> is this will, make, um, this will make the sides of it hydrophobic. Which means that water repels from it or water beads up on it. So sometimes I don't even take this piece off. I just leave it on and just give it a good coat on the inside. Get it down deep, spray my rag. Now 
I just let it sit in the sun and dry for about 20, 30 minutes and uh, you'll be all set to go. And basically what will happen now is all that grass will just, <coughs> the, the liquid is what sort of adheres to the side. So here's your little trip for that. So I just picked up a ton of clippings off this and they were all soaking wet clippings. So we just picked up all the clippings off here. Didn't have any clogs. It wasn't a huge amount, but it was enough to, they were wet enough to cause issues. So let's check and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. And as you can see, the tube, the tube looks nice and clean too. Let's check this tube. She's clean too. Perfectly clean. Not a single blade of grass stuck inside there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Even when these clippings are damp and wet. Now I didn't have, you know, a massive amount, but I had enough to get stuck in there, so. And it works. Good morning. So welcome to another edition of The Lazy Gardener. <sighs> so let me explain. <laughs> uh, it's just been too hot out here and I've got too much going on and I've ignored the vegetable garden. <laughs> it's great for the first month or so, picking all the produce and then you just get to a point you're like, dude, I don't wanna walk out there, it's too hot. So, yes, it's still here and I need to pick. I got stuff rotting on the vine. Let me get my tripod. And I guess I'll give it away. Uh, Barb's got a family member that's um, unemployed from the virus thing and so we've been giving a lot of stuff to them too so so this year we're not using any fertilizers in the garden um, we're just making the humichar compost that's it and uh, it's just off the charts you just can't kill stuff in here but this garden because it has basically no air circulation, most of your stuff will have disease, you suffer from a lot of disease. So we initially planted tomatoes here and they got way up here. We pulled 110 pounds. Then they all died off from the disease. We pulled them out, cleaned the area up and we replanted. Now these are the, I don't know if you remember seeing them. These are the little, they were like 10 inches tall. These are the little tomato plants we bought on sale at Walmart for $2 each. They were getting ready to throw them out. But I got peppers just, they're turning red and rotting on the vine. Cause I just can't eat all that. I got, I got cucumbers turning yellow. It's going to be crazy in here this morning. Okay, so what we do each year is we plant tomatoes here. We let them start to grow. And then we plant a backup crop. And then we come in and this year we've planted more over here as well too. We started peas, replaced it with tomatoes. I still have squash and zucchini, but this time of year, it's just, you know, it's 96 degrees out here. It's like, okay, I'll war to you, but... So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pick. That's what I'm gonna do to happens. That's what happens when you're lazy. <laughs> Otherwise, you end up with cucumber squash. Look at the size of it. Green peppers and cute hidden back here. I don't know how this got planted here. Got that zucchini. I need to go in here and clean all this yellowing stuff out of here. Oh, there's no Beautiful yellow squash. But here's what we got today. <clears throat> Pretty crazy, huh? So, that's all done. Cassie, get out of the garden. Cassie. 
What are you doing? Come here. Why are you be so crazy, huh? Crazy. Anyways, so uh, I'm pretty much gonna relax. I'm gonna go putt. Oh, there goes a the dog. Get off my putting green. <laughs> I'm gonna go putt a little bit. It's Saturday. I got all my work done. I'm gonna relax. <laughs> I've had enough for the week. I'll talk to you later, Doc. Thank you.